Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Brian McKay, a grass skiing enthusiast. Brian, how are you today? Good, Greg. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing very well. This is very cool. I, I've skied a few times in my life on snow, but you're into grass skiing. Tell us how you do this. Well, grass skiing is similar to snow skiing. You use the same boots and poles and a lot of the same technique and muscles. Um, but of course, we're doing it on grass and we're using something similar to a, a tractor tread. Wow. to ski down the hill on. Okay, and so and did you start skiing on the snow and just wanted something to do I, those other months of the year? I went about three times in high school on rental equipment, and then my friends who were snow skiers ran into this, and uh, I kind of picked it up from there and, and went from there and ended up snow skiing in Austria Ger and Germany uh, wow. later on in life because of this. Wow, okay, so yeah, tell us, tell us where, you know, so it was it was a bit ago, and you know, I'm assuming you know, uh, so, you know it was a long around, time around ago. high school or something. So just tell me how you know how you have you progressed in in moving to a foreign country for this? Uh, well, I actually ended up going on the United States grass ski racing team in 1983 wow. to Australia. They had the World Championships. There's World Championships every two years for this sport, and uh, yeah, I ended up uh, moving to Australia after that. And they have grass ski parks, so it was. A good place to live at that time. Oh, unbelievable! Okay, yeah. all right. So, so one one of the things many people know about snow skiing is it can be expensive, and of course there are lifts. So, how do you get to the top of the mountain? Well, uh, it's it's uh, a little bit more involved than getting on a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we climb. We yeah. climb up the in hill in ski boots. In ski which boots, which are yeah. hard to walk in. Right. Well, wow. well, if the hill's really long, what you do is put the boots in the skis and carry them over your shoulder and just hike up. Okay. Um, but now it's, it's a little more involved, good exercise for you to yeah. climb up the hill. Um, but uh, it's a lot different than snow skiing in that regard. <laughs> okay, well, I want to I dissect the differences of the two, one, two little skis we got here. Well, first, we're going to take a quick break. Love much more with Brian in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Brian McKay, and we're talking about grass skiing. So, Brian, break those down. It, this is, is this a new one? This is an old one? Well, this is one of the original ones. It was developed in, the, in Germany in the late 60s. Okay. Okay, and uh, this is what it kind of started off as. It looks like an inline skate, sort yeah, of, for, really for grass. Yeah. Uh, and then as it progressed, it turned into this. This one was made in Italy um, from Rolka Company. And uh, there's a number of different sizes. And this one's about... 25 years old, so yeah, they've progressed been, even are, this further. This one's yours, right? Yeah. Yes, this is mine. Okay. I've never used this one. I've got a couple of extra pairs. Okay. Um, I'm still using the ones that I raced on in 1983 in the World Championships. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, you know, that's, so. that's good value right there. <laughs> and you're sure saving is. on lift ticket money as well. <laughs> that's right, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is very cool. Okay, so where, where do you grass ski locally? Where do you go? I, uh, hmm. I ski, have a little slope that's at the bottom of Immigrant Lake. It's used by the paragliders, and I've co-opted it to ski on. I've seen that spot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's the only one I found. I've driven all over the valley. I've, I've only been here two years, but I've been looking for a place to ski the whole time. And uh, it's it's lovely place right above the lake. Yeah. A little short, but uh, a yeah. nice hill for people to learn on as well. Yeah, okay. And, and so uh, do you have a, a group you go out there with? Oh, I wish I had a group to go out with, but it's just <laughs> me. I've got a couple extra pairs of skis, and I'm, that's kind of why I'm here. Someone can come out and try it, yeah. perhaps? Yeah, yeah. Just wanted to find somebody to ski with. It has to be kind of a younger guy who's willing to climb a hill. Yeah, and, yeah, and, there's and, no lifts there. And yeah, take a couple it. little falls. <laughs> you, have <laughs> yeah. to, you have to learn. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not that easy. It's one of those things that you can get better and better and better at. Yeah. It's set up a slalom course, find jumps, um, you know, find steeper hills and rougher hills if you, mm. if the thrill if you needs. Can yeah, it. exactly. If you need okay. to get more thrill. Cool. All right. Yeah. And so, uh, if anybody wants to reach you, how can they do that? Yeah. Well, they can just give me a call. Uh, my number is five four one five three one. 9157. All right, now I, I think I don't want to alienate a portion of our audience. Is there grass snow, ski boarding? I guess. Uh, no, no, there I isn't. I can't yet, say but snowboarding. <laughs> yeah, it would be <laughs> grass ski boarding. boarding grass yes. boarding? But uh, no, there isn't. Maybe, uh, maybe okay. that's an innovation we should look at. <laughs> yeah, you know, never hurts, right? No. Very cool, Brian. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. it. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 